Hi everybody. Today we're going to try something different. As you no doubt notice, the atom's not on. Why, Millie, you ask? Because the atom has a visitor. What is this? This is a C64 Mini. As everybody's no doubt seen, this is a miniature version of the Commodore 64. They actually make a full-size version of it now, but I got the Mini uh, two Christmases ago. And I have not really done much with it, and I decided, let's try something. So, what I got here is I'm going to take the Mini out of its box. And we're going to do something. No, I'm not going to drop it on the floor. Nothing like that. Plug in the USB over here. Get the cables out. I have used this once or twice just to see how it worked. Then I turned it off and put it back in the box. And I just ordered something that's in the other box here that I'm going to use for my little demonstration today. Oh, let's plug the right thing in. So first off, let's plug the power into the Mini. It's on, I don't want it on, so shut off. Or you can be on, I don't care if you're on. We're gonna get out the joystick. We need to have something like this for the Atom. We need to have a miniature Atom. Plug the joystick in the side over here. I like the Commodore, it's got two ports. Ah, I wonder which one I should use. I can never figure out which one is what on the Commodore. Now, the other thing I have is this. What is it you say? It goes with this. We plug our HDMI cable in here, then we plug it into our monitor, but we won't plug into that monitor. That's why we have this. This I got on Amazon. It cost me 15 bucks for it. And what it is, it's backwards. It's HDMI to AV. Where everybody else is screaming, I want to use HDMI on my computer. I want the Atom to be an HDMI. I want my insert retro computer here to be an HDMI. I want to go the other way. I want to go from HDMI to AV. So I bought this little thing. We plug it in here. The HDMI cable plugs into the HDMI to AV adapter. On the side, it's got an NTSC and a PAL connection and a power connection. Let's hook our cables up back here. See if I can get to them without dropping them. That one's audio. I don't have a stereo connection, so I just have to go there. And that one is video right there. So that's hooked up, and I need power. And you need to shut off. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I just had to make sure the C64 was shut off. And we need power for the HDMI to AV. That's this one right here. Let's get all our little doodads out of the way. Put them over here on the bench. Put power into here. And before I put power into it, let me turn on my capture so I can capture this stuff. So that I can put a little insert up in the corner of what we're doing here. All right, so now I'm back. HDMI cable right here, HDMI to AV. Connected to the monitor. I got a splitter back there sending it over to the capture system. HDMI coming out of the C64 to it. Plug it in and uh, come on, get in. Turn it on. There we go. Voila! We have color bars. And now it's over here for a second, Adam keyboard. Let's power on the C64. Power it up. Do I have to hold the button in longer? Maybe I do. Okay, yeah, I do have to hold it in longer to get to it. Power it on and let's see what we get. She powers up. Oh, hear the music? See the screen? Now this is in 16 by nine, which is fine over on the capture, but on my monitor here it's not. You really can't see that too well there, but believe me, it is. Can I switch it down here? Let's just go to the wrench here. 
Uh, 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 uh. No, I guess I can't. Mm. How do I go back? That one, okay. What's that one? Oh. oh, okay. Yeah, I am in four by three right now. Okay. All right, so we were there. What's... Did I tell you to start a game? I must have. I don't want to do that. Okay. I don't have a keyboard plugged in, otherwise I play something there. Let's just see, can I find a game that I could play that I might actually be okay to play on? Any of these games look familiar to me at all? You know, that's the Hall of Fame, whatever that is. I don't know Commodore 64 games that well. What is that? Let's give that a shot. I just want to give it a shot. I want you to be able to see what's happening here, see how it works. I want to get some content up in the corner here where you can see how the capture is working. But this does appear to be working pretty nicely. I should turn the sound up. If you didn't know, I have my sound pumped into my original 80s stereo back here. And MTV's playing over there. So let's play. I'm not changing that. Let's just begin the race. Let's see what we got here. Let's see if I can play this game. Cause I suck at video games. Oh, you actually even load slow. Hmm. Ready? That really doesn't. Here. I want one that's gonna. Oh, there's a sound. That sounds a lot better. Yeah, that that's I know that's not a real SID, that's emulated SID, but that does sound good. I have to admit, it does kind of put the ad in the shame. Maybe I got a new toy here to play with. Who knows? Is this Ball Blazer, Trailblazer? Which one is this one? Trailblazer, Ball Blazer. Yeah, hello, hello, I want to play. I inserted coins. Oh, I'm already playing. Oh, I, I guess I jumped there. Oh, oh, I get it, I get it, okay, I got. always gotta jump. All right, uh, jump, jump better. I suck, but there we go. That's what we, I wanted to give it a shot. We're gonna see this more often. I'm gonna put some more videos together on this. I wanna download some software and actually install it in there. But my main thing I wanted to try was, I wanted to see how this worked for me on the monitor. You know, I'm going to, it's going to get a little bouncy. I'm going to actually move the main camera so you can see the monitor. See? That's pretty darn good. Yeah, it's cutting a little off, but not much. And the color blinking on and off. If you're new to my channel, I'll put the camera back over here. Put on the white dots so I know where it goes. If you're new to my channel, you know that I need to take this apart. It's got some loose wire or loose wires or corrosion in the brightness and the contrast and everything. So every now and then it blinks and stuff like that. So I gotta pull it apart. I'm just kind of afraid to take a TV apart, a monitor apart. I don't wanna get electrocuted. But there we go. The C64 running through an HV, uh, HDMI to AV, captured back onto my laptop and HDMI. Have a great day.